Uh, my name is Amber Bonkowski and I am the Programs Coordinator for the Retire Rehire Program. I handle all of the applications that come in and all of the contracts that come in. I basically make sure that all the contracts are to the employees on time, um, all of the POs are in for them, and if they are full-time employees that they are set up in the system so that they can receive their benefits. My name is Atasha Clay. I am an ESR, an Employee Service Representative. Essentially what I do every day is answer phone calls with any questions or concerns. I process documents. I also answer all the tickets in our system. Okay, my name is Teresa Reza and my role here at ESI is a Program Specialist. I provide support to Amber, which is our contract coordinator, so I help provide support with our contracts, reaching out to the districts, and hiring employees through through that retirement phase in their life. That's really fun, and I love that role. And I also do a transition where I help Tanika as well with the subsource program. I help with also reaching out to the districts and seeing which substitutes are interested in the restroom setup positions or even helping through our absence management systems such as frontline and smart line. so it could be challenging but it's also very fun as well so anywhere i can provide support to amber and tamika that's what i do there are so many different types of fun cultures especially with the hispanic heritage but one that really sticks to my family that's really, really rememberable and that we stick to it all the time is during birthday parties. It's called La Morbida. And whenever, whoever's birthday it is, it could be a child's birthday, an adult's birthday. So whoever's birthday it is, we'll sing happy birthday to them. And after we're done singing happy birthday, they'll blow out the candle. And the fun saying is La Morbida. And you'll hear a chat, Morbida, Morbida. So that means that person who is birthday is they have to go and bite the cake, they have to take the first bite, and that results in somebody smashing their face into the cake. And it's just something kind of fun that's always stuck around like with our Hispanic culture and we love to do it as a family as well. A family tradition that I have is actually Christmas Eve, also known as like Noche Buena. It's we get together as a family, of course. Um, we sing songs, but most importantly, we make tamales for Christmas Eve and for Christmas Day. So it all starts with my great grandmother. She preps all of the ingredients and then we all get into an assembly line and we talk and laugh and we make tamales for the whole family. So my great grandfather came from Mexico so, and he lived to be 99 and I don't, I mean, he barely spoke any English. So it was really hard to communicate with him as we were little. Um, my grandmother is full Hispanic. Um, what we have done since I can remember is every time around Christmas time, we make dozens and dozens and dozens of tamales. And our Christmas morning tradition is tamales, eggs, refried beans, and a little bully bill breads. That was our breakfast from the time I can remember. Mm -hmm.